Uh, I think I was about 25 when we got the noodles that my sister was dead. And um, my life at that time, it was probably much like most youngsters. You know, we went to school and track was going to be on. Where we were going to go in life, you know. My father always instilled in us character, you know what I'm saying, and uh, just values of how to treat people. These are some of the things that he instilled in us, and my sister, mm -hmm. my brothers, and all of us. In our community, we wake up in the morning, you see your neighbor, first thing you say is hello. You know, that's how you greet someone. Now, let's see, like today, you say hello to someone, they're angry, you get mad. We're living in defensive times. But we can do uh, get that, that news that my sister would be coming home for a moment. Uh, I wasn't able to make that funeral. So, a lot of times in life, I started to, to go to the dark side because I didn't know then what was what. I mean, uh, my father always told us to do the right thing, to try to treat everyone right. And yeah, here it is, my baby sister. One minute you turn your head and she's gone. We don't have any answers. For 25 years, we wonder, you know, who did it, where is she, what happened. Now it comes to find out we have a, a man that's out of the heat. He found it upon himself to take the lives of grandmothers, aunties, sisters. Uh, we, don't, we don't understand that. I'm finding myself even now, not to hate anyone. You know, that's what I have to deal with. To try to balance, you know, so where do I want to go in the next life? Well, I see my sister from here. And this is something I have to continue to talk about, to reflect, and to make sure that I don't get this spirit of hate in me because of what he's done to our family. Now watch my parents as they try to be strong, try to keep us strong. You know, we have to ask ourselves, what do we get straight? And we don't know sometimes. Obviously, it comes from the inside of us. We've had the opportunity to come to court. We've met a lot of friends here, people who decided to help us in our, in, in, in our fight to find um, justice for not just my sister, but all the families, all the victims. You know, this is why we come here every day. You know, we don't get the right meal sometimes. But the love for my sister, it gets us here every day. And we just hope that when this is all said and done, for all the families, that you can find the strength within yourself, you know what I'm saying, to just keep bringing out your best. We can't do anything about the past, but we did have a jury that sat there and thought about everything you've done to each one of the victims. And we, we appreciate the time and the effort that you put in that. And I tell you, for the rest of my life, this has probably been the hardest thing that I've ever done.